Okay, Jahoor, make yourself visible and let's start your heat transfer snap for your final JKPSC interview. So, yes, Jahoor, tell me what is heat transfer? Uh, yes, sir. sir. Heat transfer is that mode of energy transfer which takes place due to the temperature difference between the two bodies. It, it, it usually takes place from higher temperature to lower temperature body. And uh, in heat transfer, we have three modes of heat transfer. One is uh, radiation, one is conduction, second is convection, and third is radiation. Okay. So can you tell me the mechanism of convection heat transfer? How convection heat transfer takes place? Yes, sir. Usually, sir, convection uh, takes place uh, from a solid body with its surrounding fluid. Uh, in convection, uh, usually there is a the transfer of heat takes place due to the bulk motion of the fluid. And uh, in convection, we itself have the two types. One is uh, free convection and one is forced convection. And in uh -huh. forced convection, uh, the velocity is evident. And that means we use some external body to uh, provide this bulk movement of the fluid. And in free convection, the transfer of heat takes place uh, due to the buoyancy effects that arise from the temperature difference. Mm -hmm. Achha, you know, convection means two things. One is advection and diffusion. Can you tell me the difference between advection and diffusion? Yes, sir. sir uh, Advection is uh, usually sir, as we uh, classify the uh, convection as a part of conduction plus advection. Advection is due to the uh, this uh, bulk uh, motion of the fluid, and diffusion is in which the momentum gets uh, diffused from one layer of the fluid to the another layer. Uh, how we can increase the uh, what you can say sensitivity of thermocouple? On what factor sensitivity of a thermocouple depends? It is a sensitivity of thermocouple depends. It is uh, area upon uh, volume ratio. Uh, it depends upon it is uh, 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 density. It depends upon it is uh, thermal heat capacity. Mm -hmm. So sensitivity of a thermocouple, if you want uh, it higher, Okay. Yes, sir. Then, uh, you know, there is some time we define for a thermocouple. Yes, sir. And the time constant. Yes, sir. So that is required to be higher or lower? Or higher sensitivity? Sir, uh, time constant is, uh, will be so higher for or lower? higher sensitivity? So that should be... Uh, Sir, for higher sensitivity, uh, that should be, uh, sir, I am guessing this point, that should be lower. Time constant will be lower. What is, how, what, how we can define this time constant? So time constant is that time uh, in which the, uh, pod, in which the like, particular uh, body uh, reaches the temperature of the 63% uh, of the ambient temperature. That is uh, termed as one time constant. It is usually uh, denoted by a formula. Can you tell me something about radio city? What is the difference between radio city and irradiation? So irradiation is the uh, amount of uh, like radiation that is uh, falling on the body, and how much the radiation that the body that that is go that goes out from the body is known as radio city. Like uh, some reflected part of uh, uh, radiation plus emissivity of body combined, these both combined is termed as the radio city. And how much the uh, like uh, radiation is falling on your body that is known as irradiation. What is emissivity, Jahur, and how we can uh, increase the emissivity of a particular surface? Yes, sir. Sir, emissivity is uh, of a body is basically the uh, ratio of uh, uh, like uh, emissive power of body with respect to it is uh, emissive power of the black body, and mm -hmm. uh, emissivity and emissivity can be increased uh, by increase in the temperature and in some bodies uh, it also depends on the wavelength of the radiation also and for gray bodies emissivity is uh, independent of the uh, it is a uh, spectral emissivity like uh, for gray bodies uh, this spectral emissivity is equal to its total emissivity you what is the difference between a double pipe heat exchanger and a shell and tube type heat exchanger and which one we use uh, where so, uh, can you please repeat first two type the difference between double pipe and shell and tube type heat exchanger. 
Yes, sir. Actually, sir, in uh, double pump heat exchanger, uh, we are using the uh, like annulus type of two pipes in which uh, in, inside the pipe there is flowing of one fluid and outside the annular space there is the flowing of the another fluid. So uh, they can transfer the heat uh, through, through the boundary which is separating between them, like the boundary of the inner pipe. But in case of shell and tube uh, heat exchanger, we have a uh, heavier space of the shell. Inside we there are the embedded of uh, small, small uh, tubes through which the, like, uh, this uh, refrigerant or cooling medium passes and through the end in the shell portion, the heated, like, heated fluid is passed. So that may be the difference between the two. I just suppose Jahur, there is some kind of, you know, pipe, okay, which is yes, under, some, uh, under some, you know, maybe... Uh, for example, uh, underground. Okay, that pipe is underground pipe in which some steam is flowing. Okay. Yes, sir. And I suppose you know, obviously, the due to the temperature difference between the steam and the outside, some heat is going to be lost by the pipe. Yes, sir. So we can grow the temperature. Uh, like that. What what kind of temperature profile we will get in that case? Yes, sir. Sir, in in case of uh, pipe, uh, the temperature profile is. Uh, Draw the temperature profile, you know, from uh, some, what you can say, the center of the pipe to some point in the uh, yes. soil, earth. But it is uh, basically... It is basically points, sir, take log two points. One is the point, the center of the pipe, and another is any point in the, uh, you know, underground. And then try to draw the temperature profile. Sir, it is, sir, uh, basically this uh, logarithmic type. If it is a cylindrical pipe, it is basically a log logarithmic. Temperature which is a radius. No, this is not the temperature profile. Mm -hmm. One second, sir. Uh, sir, uh, in, so it is underground pipe, then... Mm -hmm. Uh, right now, I am remembering this is a logarithmic, and if uh, in case of if there is only the I am not recalling the point. Mm -hmm. I think... yes, okay, what is thermal conductivity, Jabu, and how we can measure the conductivity of a particular material? Sir, sir yeah. thermal conductivity is the uh, ability of the material uh, to allow the heat to conduct to throw the material more uh, rapidly. And uh, with the help of, and thermal conductivity, it can be increased by uh, like uh, if there is uh, if there is decrement, thermal conductivity can be increased by by in, like in case of solids, if we increase the temperature, it is no, I'm not uh, asking how it can be increased. I'm asking you how you can measure yeah, the conductivity of a particular okay, okay. Uh, uh, measurement measurement of thermal conductivity. Sorry, sir, I am not recalling the point. Mm -hmm. You know, there are th three different modes of heat transfer. You define conduction, convection, radiation. Can you tell me yes, something sir. about the governing laws of uh, all three modes of heat transfer? Mm -hmm. Burning laws, sir. La warning, warning laws. Last warning, conduction, convection, and radiation heat transfer. Sir, Sorry, sir. I have no idea. Which law governs conduction heat transfer? The law which governs convection heat transfer and the law which governs radiation heat transfer? Mm -hmm. Okay, sir. I just uh, like. Uh, I'm not sure, like uh, getting the point properly. Whether I am not uh, able to audible the properly. I just asked you the various laws which governs different modes of heat transfer. Is it fine to you, Jahur? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Sir, uh, like in which uh, like application where just uh, all three forms of heat transfer takes place. No, I'm not asking you about application. I'm just asking you different laws which governs various. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, laws. So actually, sir, I was like getting the losses. Sorry, sir. Actually, mm -hmm. for uh, conduction, it is a uh, Fourier law of conduction. 
for convection it is newton's law of cooling and for uh, radiation uh, it is stephen boltzmann law of radiation so what is newton's law of cooling and it is applicable to uh, which particular mode like convection free convection or forced yes, convection sir. or both yes. So Newton's law of uh, cooling is uh, basically uh, it is it gen it in in Newton's law of cooling it states that the heat transfer from a uh, between a solid body and a surrounding fluid is directly proportional to the temperature difference between the two bodies and also proportional to the uh, area of the contact between the uh, two substances and usually it, it Newton's law of cooling is applicable for both free convection as well as for forced convection. This uh, formula is Q is equal to H A delta. Fine, fine. Or what factor the convection heat transfer coefficient depends in case of free convection? Sir, in uh, free convection, the convection heat transfer coefficient depends on. Uh, it also depends. Uh, it depends on several parameters like uh, density, velocity, heat capacity, uh, thermal conductivity, and also uh, uh, the characteristic length. Uh, these are the several parameters on which the convective heat transfer portion will depend. And what also, the this, uh, contact resistance, Zohar. What contact is contact resistance. resistance? How we can decrease it? Contact resistance. I'm sorry, sir. I have no idea about contact resistance. Okay. My last question to you What is the use of Hessler chart in heat transfer? Yes, sir. Uh, actually, sir, uh, Hesler, with the help of Hessler chart, we can uh, find the temperature at, a, at any location at any instant of time. Uh, usually, uh, in if we usually uh, when we take the this uh, lumped parameter analysis, we are assuming that the this uh, temperature difference, the temperature is function, temperature changes function of uh, only uh, time. But in actual case, it is uh, also function of time as well as space. So we can draw the Hessler chart to chart to determine the temperature differential at any location at any instant of time. Okay, mm -hmm. I think now I can provide you the feedback. Yes, sir. Zahur, most of the question you are answering on right line, you know, only one two questions you missed, like uh, the temperature profile I asked you. You know, when some steam is flowing yes, inside sir. the pipe, so inside the pipe will be what? Convection heat transfer. Yes, so sir. You, need to, you need to consider the flow inside the pipe and then you need to think what kind of temperature profile you will get inside the pipe. Are you getting Jahul? Yes, sir. And then within the, because that will be convection. So temperature profile yes. will be convection, force convection because steam is flowing. Then there will be conduction uh, in, in the uh, pipe material. Yes, sir. For that, you will have some temperature profile, and then there will be what conduction in the uh, soil. Well, yes, sir. Underground, and then again there will be some different temperature profile. Are you getting that? You can take as a linear temperature profile. So what I asked you to draw the temperature profile, not only for the material, you have to draw the temperature profile from the center of the pipe to the what? Some uh, uh, some point in the radius uh, soil. Fine, sir. Conductivity measure ke liye ek basic both simple experiment. Hota hai. What we do one end of the road, suppose you are having a road and you want to measure its conductivity. To us end ko hum yes, kya hai? Heating coil se hum heat karna shuru kar hai. Yeah, right, sir. Okay. And uh, yes, then sir. second point pe hum kya karte hai? heat reject hai by passing some uh, coolant. Okay. Yes, sir. And then using Fourier law because Q is known to us in steady state. VI. So right, sir. right, sir. Right, sir. Now, it's okay. Let's revise it a little bit more. Your technical understanding yes, is looking fine. Most of the question you answered. Two or three questions you have missed. Okay? Yes, so, one more revise. Yes, sir, yes, sir. And if you feel again, you can join me. Sir, yes, sir. can you please tell me a little bit about this contact resistance? I got stuck at that point. Look, contact resistance, what happens? You know, all surfaces are having some kind of surface but, roughness. Yes, sir. Okay, those are known as surface irregularity. So if you are joining any two bodies, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. your surface re resistance, they don't have object, you know, surface to surface contact. So some kind of air yes, will be trapped in between. Right, okay, so resistance offered uh, due to the air trapped between two surfaces, that is known as contact resistance. 
ठीक है यस सर गॉट इट उसको आप कम कैसे कर सकते हो यू कैन डिक्रीज दैट बाय एलिमिनेटिंग द एयर फ्रॉम द रफ सरफेस सो यू कैन यू कैन पुट सम ऑयल ओके सम सम काइंड ऑफ ऑयल यू कैन पुट बिटवीन द टू सरफेसेस और आइदर व्हाट यू कैन डू यू कैन डिक्रीज द सरफेस रफनेस ऑफ टू मटेरियल्स सो यू कैन कैरी आउट सम काइंड ऑफ पॉलिशिंग ऑपरेशन ओके और व्हाट यू कैन डू थर्ड यू कैन प्रोवाइड सम एक्सटर्नल प्रेशर so due to that external pressure again the air uh, uh, will decrease that the support because that uh, contact resistance will decrease because those two materials will squeeze into each other are you ready so pressure apply karke oil dal ke ya uh, yes, surface yes, roughness ko bada ke hum contact resistance ko kya kar sakte hain kam kar sakte hain theek hai ji yes sir got this point actually thank you thank you sir